An evil is being purged from the internet in China. And that evil, if you see them around, just be on the lookout for this person. Take a look at this photo. Totally nailed it. It's Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig is uh, not, uh, she, she has essentially been co-opted by the subculture in China known as the Shehu Ren. I can't say it right, uh, which literally means society person, but refers to slackers and other gangsters who drop out of society. Um, the show first started airing in China in 2015, according to Gizmodo, but at some point last year, young adults started co-opting it. And the Chinese government is saying, no, we can't have that on the internet anymore. We're gonna scrub it from the ranks, which is hilarious because Peppa Pig is this delightful little English pig girl. Thoughts, five words or less. Aw, poor Peppa. Aw, poor Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte's Web and Babe done too. Right, Peppa Pig is not kosher. Do you get it? It's a pork No, product. I got it, yeah, yeah. that was good. Uh, Amazing. So dumb. Did, so how this will work, right? This will get rid of all counterculture in China? No. It's weird how this how this stuff sort of happens. It reminds me of a, a discussion I think we had sometime back about um, Pepe the Frog and how right. that sort of morphed into meeting something else and then the, the cartoonist that drew um, Pepe the Frog was like, oh gosh, no, this is not what I meant and how people can just sort of co-opt whatever imagery they want to suit whatever meaning they see fit and how people will freak out over it. But, um, I mean, I've seen episodes of Peppa, Peppa she's the so Pig. So tell, for she's people great. who haven't seen she's Peppa awesome. Pig, have any of you guys watched it? I watched it with my I, nephew. Yeah. But I mean, what is, I, she's just like, you said this delightful pig, also bacon's wonderful. Um, uh, I think I will defend Peppa That's Pig. her body that you need. <laughs> I know, but just talking about <laughs> terrible. I'm so sorry, guys. My little nephew loves Peppa Pig. I, 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 it's, she just goes on adventures, and she, it's a pig that talks. Uh, and I will defend Peppa Pig to my dying day because I love my nephew, and he had a Peppa Pig birthday party. So screw you, China. That's all I have to say about that. <clears throat> I'm curious to see what this does for the Peppa Pig uh, brand. Brand, yeah. <laughs> You know, so sometimes getting a movie banned or getting a lot of controversy around something just kind of shoots the sales up. And right. There's, there is going to be a subset of people who are so offended that China millions of moms yeah. are going to chime in on this. I'm yeah. waiting How for. I'm waiting for Supreme to like roll out like a Peppa the Pig T-shirt where it says like Supreme and then Peppa the Pig with like face tattoos, being like, "Yeah, that's right." Um, About this right. Exactly. Yeah, she's rebellious now. She can't be tamed. Um, and make it like 8,000 bucks. Yeah, it, easily, for sure. <laughs> I want to know what that meeting is like on the like internet advisory board that's like, all right, guys, we're going to talk about the things that are threatening our national security. And uh, here we go. Let's go for it. First, terrorism. Got it. Terrorism, terrorism. No terrorism. Let's get rid of it. Um, second, this cartoon. <laughs> all right, play the video. Tomorrow, I'm going shopping. You're just like, what? Yeah. Like, were they like, oh, this is a bad thing to go shopping I mean, tomorrow? I am, sh I am sure that there is sort of context that we're missing with regards to like how it's being used, the imagery it's being associated with. Like, I'm sure, but it it just so feels so foreign to us, especially that you know you and I both seen episodes of Peppa the Pig with your nephew and me with my friends like kids. So mm -hmm. it's just it does feel super alien. They had that, that one picture of the is it the Chinese president walking with Obama, and yeah. then they compared that to a Canadian classic, which was Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, and that got banned for that simple purpose because they just found a picture that looked the same. It's amazing, and that's like, that was a meme. That was a huge thing. Uh, what's his name? Xi Jinping. Is that his name? Is who's in charge of China now? <laughs> Whatever. The president of China. I picked one. Hu Jintao, Xi Jinping. See, now you're banned. Right. Yeah, you're, right? You're so banned right now, You're the new Brett. pep of the pig. I'm like, but I'm summoning. I, we talked about the governors in, in the early 2000s, and now I'm like, I just did a joke about who, mm. who, who's the prime minister? No, she's the prime minister. Who? He? Anyways, that's stupid. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so that was a whole thing, is that the president looked like Winnie the Pooh, and it was everywhere, all kinds of memes. So they're like getting rid of Winnie the Pooh, getting rid of Peppa Pig. What do you think? Does it mean that you have so much, at that point when you're doing that, you have so much control or you've lost so much control? I think it's also kind of, I think everybody in school needs to learn the term Barbara Streisand effect. Yep. What is the Barbara Streisand effect? Somebody took a picture of Barbara Streisand's house mm -hmm. and they posted it online. And Barbara Streisand thought you could like scoop it out of the internet so it no longer exists. So she got lawyers to to get this picture taken off the internet. Right. 
<laughs> like you, you could cut it out of a yeah, magazine. Taking the picture on the internet is like taking pee out of a pool. You can't, you can't do <laughs> it's it. And it's, and it's spread. And I mean, <laughs> there was that one unflattering Beyonce picture that they said it was the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like if you don't like something, bringing attention to it only helps it. Oh yes, yeah, because basically right? as a result of what Barbara Streisand's lawyer legal team did, the search for that photo, it was pretty minuscule beforehand. People weren't searching for photos of Barbara Streisand's yeah. properties, um, but following hearing that her team was uh, moving forward with legal action, it like skyrocketed. Yeah. It's something like an astronomical. It's like Fantasia of when he cuts the brooms, the little brooms, and he right. turns into two brooms. It's <laughs> the same thing. If you don't like something on the internet, just Literally move on. Oh my God, your analogies are Is awesome that how you that. handle it? Is that how you handle it when you when someone says ne something negative about you on the internet? Do you? How oh, do you me personally, like all of I'm, us. I'm like, from the school of thought is that if pe the only way you're doing something well is if somebody's saying something negative about you, because right. that means you've exited your echo chamber. Oh right? wow! If I drop a video and it's all thumbs up, those are just my friends and my family and my friends that let appreciate my work. But when someone's like, "This guy sucks," that guy looks like a terrorist. I didn't know Osama can rap, and I was like, I'm reaching a new audience. That's the measurement, and, and I'm not even kidding. Even amongst my creator friends, if they see my stats and they're like, wow, that's a lot of thumbs up. I see you haven't really, you know, you haven't breached the new, the next level. Right, yeah, So yeah, we're yeah. really looking for this, like, I need to find people who don't know who I am, who don't have a bias towards me on a positive light, and I need to hit a new audience. So what, for me, the more hate, the better. I want to go through, because do you have your favorite it, like negative comment that you've seen oh, yeah, about I mean, yourself. I, we said this, I think, last week, where uh, I don't receive, uh, I don't usually get a notification when I get a, a YouTube comment, mm -hmm. just because of the way that my like notifications work. But I got one out of the blue. It like buzzed and everything, like made a noise. That's not common, and it was just a YouTube comment on one of my music videos that said "Cheese Face Dyke." Oh, that's YouTube, right. YouTube was like, "She's gonna want to see this one," <laughs> and I was like, "But it went off." It was like, "Oh, a YouTube." <laughs> I was like, a YouTube comment? My, my. I think my folk songs are really taking off. And I yeah. went to go look and it was like, cheese, cheese, dyke. I was like, cool, cool, cool. I'm just going to never, ever love, do that again. I would love to bio that with like, YouTube to be like, so just a question. Can you explain why the only why notification one? I've ever been served? Yeah, I haven't gotten cheese. a notification in like probably months. But it was that one that was just like, this is, she should know about this. Oh, it's so good. Jason, what do you, got, do you have a good Mine one? was, uh, Jason's such a coon. He's not even close to being woke. I'm just like, <laughs> Jesus. All that's right. like, he's not even close. That's well, like pretentious and racist. Yeah, the same, like uh, the pretentious racist. It's like it's, it's like you know how if you're black, you, you have to have either you're, you have to be super woke or have to have what they people call swag. Apparently, I possess none of that. No. I would disgrace. I don't even Aww. give. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. No, so, no, I don't care. It's whatever. What did you get? Uh, I just loved. I used to have long hair, and it was like Ashton Kutcher called. He wants his 1993 image back. And then another one that I loved is just how many F's they used in the word fag. <laughs> it's like 30 F's. They were just like. <laughs> and it's funny because it's got to be that pause. You hold the letter right. F, it's a pause, <laughs> and then it repeats. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm it. not finished. You're so gay. <laughs> so good. Uh, Hummel, do you have any? We only I, have I think my three, favorite, then. I think nobody online has made it until somebody just simply leaves a comment. Who is this bitch? <laughs> <laughs>